Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, divine keepers of the white flame of resurrection and ascension. Happy April 1st, the day of new beginnings from the zero-point field of the void. To usher in this holy month of April, we have a galactic activation portal day on the Mayan Zolkeen with galactic signature Keen 58, White Rhythmic Mirror, where the mirror of the mind of Source reflects itself perfectly in its own divine resonance. We are now stepping into crystal clear clarity to our higher purpose, to our divine missions, and to our infinite multidimensionality as free and sovereign souls of the Great Spirit. It is time to fully release all that no longer serves you or humanity. This includes all doubts, fears, and negative thoughts, feelings, and emotions. We let it all go back into the void from where they came. As conscious co-creators of the new earth, we live our passions and hear the calling of Gaia, the Divine Mother, through our sacred heart centers. All star seeds on Terra Nova Gaia came in for this awakening of human consciousness, and we all play our part in this great symphony of life. In right thoughts and right action, we walk the middle path of balance and harmony and work directly with the five elements in the alchemy of Source. We step over the threshold of the new golden age of enlightenment through the self-realization of Buddha mind, our true nature, pure, empty, and free awareness, timelessness. Freedom from the shackles of time is being fully present here now in this body where I always am, the eternal now. On the wings of angels, the eagle and the condor fly as one in Heros Gamos. This is the marriage of knowledge with wisdom, the divine union of truth and love, the divine masculine and the divine feminine, merging together in the oneness of unity consciousness. Shakti and Shiva dance together through the infinite multiverse in holy matrimony. Our Divine Mother, Mariam of the Holy Waters, is with us, transmitting her loving, healing embrace to calm your spirit and bring you into the heavenly bliss of unconditional love. The veils of separation and forgetfulness are dropping and dissolving to reveal your bright virtue at one with God. Nothing can stop this revelation, and you have the power within you to make the quantum leap into your luminous avatar of infinite light, forever brilliant and free. Shine on, angels of the new Eden. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes. So be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful invocation of the yellow flame. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 24 degrees, 50 minutes Leo. The sun is at 12 degrees, 2 minutes Aries. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 13 degrees Aries. A bomb which failed to explode is now safely concealed. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 25 degrees Leo. A large camel crossing a vast and forbidding desert. From astrologyweekly.com And from divine sister of the light Sophie Gregoire. Layer after layer, step after step, you are moving forward. The universe is cooking up something just for you. You have a vision. You've expressed your wants, your hopes to the universe. Now something is ready to come clearer in your mind. You're consistently creating the foundations for long-term success on your path. Keep going. From SophieGregoire.com and from Divine Brother of the Light Parts Kute, 
we are experiencing massive incoming of photonic plasma energies right now with massive changes happening on all levels within divine love of one pars Kute, and from divine sister of the light christina morichetti plasma mega blast through our body in particular crown and root chakra feeling of being in another space and dimension expanded breath foggy head multiple visions overlapping ears ringing extreme sensitivity to noise and sounds emotional triggers with love christina and from divine sister of the light georgina beamant a new and very powerful activation has happened you don't need to do anything just allow yourself to feel the changes that are integrating within every part of your human genetic code everything is rapidly changing breathe and allow trust your inner self like you have never trusted before it's all happening within you you are home within yourself peace is within and all around you trust this moment it is perfectly in divine order for us all ebb and flow with these energies you are safe and from divine sister of the light alley ray precious hearts do not give attention to the illusion of fear turn within breathe place your hands on your heart be still breathe return home to your heart it is there you are safe it is there you are free it is there where you commune with the grace of the divine it is there that you return to the love that you are and fear cannot exist where love dwells much is unfolding in the realms of the seen and unseen in this timing your own heart has the infinite wisdom to illuminate and navigate all that arises in your experience this is true be still listen deeply and you will know within each and every heart is the deep and true knowing that all is truly well and unfolding perfectly as an extension of god's will and eternal love for all that is so precious hearts be in peace be in faith be in joy be in gratitude and be in love therefore we do not lose heart even though our outward man is perishing yet the inward man is being renewed day by day 2 corinthians 4:16 love is love is love is god is god is god is and from divine sister of the light ra james we are shifting into april the frequencies of the earth are rising april will be a huge month energetically april is its own gateway into the pleiades and the lyrids it brings us a pink moon eclipse season and the lyrids meteor shower april sixth is the libra full moon it is the paschal full moon the paschal full moon is the first full moon immediately after the spring equinox it is our easter moon it is also known as the awakening moon this full moon will shift us into a season of rebirth expect a lot of positive energies it's also a pink moon and so important for what's going on in your love life the sun will be exactly conjunct chiron in aries libra rules relationships this means the contracts closest to you are coming up for a review it also means if your connections are hurting you or causing you pain it's time to let them go many are completing and clearing a lot of karmic lessons and contracts april 11th will be the luckiest day of the year on this day the sun aligns with jupiter expect good fortune as we align with the energies of this galactic expander april 20th we have a rare hybrid solar eclipse in aries this is a rare astronomical event and a true celestial phenomenon it's one of the most powerful eclipses that we have had in the past decade it's a combination of a total and an annular eclipse the moon's shadow will fall on the earth blocking the sun's rays creating a beautiful ring of fire around the moon this is our second new moon in aries that this aries season has brought this eclipse occurs at a karmic degree to aries this eclipse also will occur on an aries libra axis the lunar north node enters aries later on in the summer that makes april karmic clearing season 
April brings us six powerful galactic activation portal days for one huge Pleiadian portal twin flame gateway for seven, four twelve, four fifteen, four twenty, and four twenty eight. These upgrade days are evenly spaced throughout the month. This gives us a chance to rest and integrate. April 22nd is the peak of the Lyrid meteor shower. That means we'll be seeing lots of shooting stars this month. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing dot com and from Divine Sistar of the Light Jessica Woods, we received immense downloads yesterday. Light informing the cells to clear out. Dreamtime was one of the many distant memories for me to experience in order to allow and let go without any resistance from my human, as past overlays fully dissolve. We sleep to awaken. With light comes further activations and awakening to deeper aspects of shadow that have been waiting to be confronted in a way that is welcoming. Yesterday a very strong guidance came in for me to sit with being accountable or responsible for your part in your own experiences, good or bad, dissolves or neutralizes any further storyline that your mind can come up with. This gives guilt, shame, and blame a backseat, so to speak, or more so. Does not give these themes power in your overall human experience. Even regret will have no ownership over your experiences because everything has its rightful place and purpose to initiate you into higher streams of consciousness. It's like making peace with the parts of yourself that have not wanted to be fully responsible for its own partaking or acting out. You cease projecting and parent or guide the parts of self that have unconsciously or subconsciously enjoyed kicking and screaming along the way, being stubborn or that somehow has managed to prevent you from seeing yourself in full view. Being accountable for your own suffering without being a victim is part of integrating the lesson. There is always a higher choice point waiting for you to tap into as these continuous streams of light flow forward, within, through, out, and everywhere in between. Every cell will vibrate its way into a release to awaken any fear, separation, judgment lingering in your body, mind, identity. You awaken to integrate, transcend, and embody. A lot is coming in, going on, and coming up. Divine timing does not make mistakes. Let love be your guide. From Divine Sistar of the Light Erini, from Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, April 1st, 2023, an important day for all. Happy April, the month of resurrection. On this day, joyous news is arriving. After a series of exorcisms and detachments from the lower density presences, the living ones today are taking their next step in their purification and restoration process and are receiving their new divine blessings. The ruby diamond is activating the twelve sound heart waves and aspects and their seeds are being restored. The breath of the solar masculine, that the orange diamond of abundance has brought back to earth, is waking up the masculine presence from Maya and lethargy. He is being pulled out of stagnation and loss, into his new position and place in the world in all of his aspects. The uranium is available again for those who are ready to release the toxicities of the Luciferian aspect. The paradise is no longer lost. The uranian heaven and the earthly heaven are being reconnected through the only branch that is available for this. The nature of the system we live in will be further revealed, recognized, and understood. The 144,000 are moving ahead. The time has come and they are being taken to a new stage of their mission. They have clearly been guided to stop informing people who do not wish to align to the truth and they are now receiving divine initiations and glorious upgrades, which will be revealing to them more of their true purpose and actions from now on. Great empowerment and miraculous transformation is here for them. 
From today and until the summer solstice will be a period during which these toxicities will be released once and for all. This will be experienced in different ways according to one's nature and needs. This might create small crisis, but all healing tools will be available in order for people to go through them in an effective and safe way. Amazing and unprecedented revelations, upgrades, realizations, completions, repositioning, and new beginnings will take place. The false family will depart and the true family will be coming in. This will be happening on all levels. The divine will be revealing itself to the living ones, and it will often feel like the living ones will be moving in and out of this world. At the same time, all the pending initial soul contracts of limitation, which have been overriding the inner kundalini paths, are clearing. So revisiting and settling certain situations that these contracts were connected to will bring up necessary processes, encounters, and events. This will take place at a fast pace. Constant smaller or bigger readjustments will be a great theme of this upcoming period. If people will drop out of your reality, please allow them to and allow the opposite too. And know that you will meet them again later under a more clear but different perspective. The unconscious mass will also release these toxicities. So this could create incidents of aggression, fighting, or craziness. Some souls still deeply caught in Maya might even give up. Those that were not open to the spiritual truths up until now will experience specific catalytic events orchestrated by the higher selves of the collective for the creation of more inner space and acceptance which is greatly needed now. But on the other hand, after all these releases and catalytic events, clarity will start returning and a new understanding will start reaching all. Love is here and everything is good. Erini, Huna Ma Anata Kumara From Divine Sister of the Light, Devyani Singh from Isis Channelings The Divine Plan, the Blueprint is unfolding. The pieces of the puzzle are slowly coming together to reveal the original blueprint. The blueprint we had committed to before incarnating. All the work done at the etheric realms is manifesting in double quick time. The serpent kundalini goddess has disengaged and released the cosmic egg of new creations that she had created, nurtured and protected until the timing aligned as it did with the equinox gateway. The equinox gateway, March 21st, 22nd, the beginning of the Hindu Vedic New Year, March 22nd, Navratri, Nine Nights of the Goddess, March 22nd through the 30th, Pluto's movement into Aquarius, March 23rd, Venus, Inanna, at Gate of Compassion, at the High Heart Chakra, March 24th. It has been a heavy-duty month of energetic shifts aligned with mega-cycles, endings, and rebirth redirection and realignment with the original divine blueprint and purpose we incarnated for. And even though we know at a cellular level that this is exactly how the pieces of the puzzle were meant to align, this is what we have been manifesting all along. We are no longer viewing reality from the lens of perception we had prior to equinox for new understanding and hidden information has come, is coming to the fore which thus changes our filters of perception. And it is against the backdrop that we now find ourselves at a crossroads. Even though we know instinctively that all which is unfolding is divine timing and divine intervention and alignment with the original blueprint. Yet the crossroads involve choice, intention, feelings of anxiety and fear as we are kept in a need-to-know basis. Knowing that the status quo is changing irrevocably and the past is slowly but definitely falling apart and we hold power over the new via our choice, intention, will, and action that is the chariot, year of seven, and that can be a scary unsettling feeling and also a confirmation and validation of how far we have come along the ascension spiral where we are now without doubt the co-creators of our new reality and a realm of free will, earth reality. 
We now once again wield the power of the architects, co-creators of the new earth, the spiral, like an ancient Atlantean chem. It is as potent and powerful as it can be dangerous. The power rests with us, as does the responsibility. What are we creating? For it will manifest. The divine feminine principle at this point in time, Venus Inanna, as the Capricorn wise woman meta goddess, who not only influences current timelines but influences future timelines and history, as the wise woman archetype, has reached the gate of compassion at the heart chakra on March 24th on her journey of ascent, empowerment, and reclamation as the evening star. And it was a rare spectacle that she put up in the evening sky as the sacred symbol of the goddess, the mother of initiation, activation, rebirth, healing, transcendence, and transformation and new beginnings. For you see, this divine gateway, although traditionally recognized as heart chakra in the goddess mystery schools, was actually at the high heart portal. The divine feminine principle within and without is for the next one month stationed at the very powerful intercosmic gateway of manifestation, alchemy, and healing at the high heart that manifests in alignment with love and devotion. It is at the gate of compassion that healing of the emotional heart takes center stage. Now through this lens of the Divine Feminine, let us re-examine the equinox gateway of sacred union within and without, of the polarities of masculine and feminine, light and dark, logic and intuition, intention and action. The Kundalini Serpent Cosmic Goddess Energies have released the new cosmic egg of new creations in a gateway governed by the High Heart Portal of Divine Manifestation, which intrinsically demands balance, 444, between the head and heart, masculine and feminine, love and responsibility, healing and manifestation. It is here that the divine masculine, within and without, steps in as an equal co-creator, not just as the foundational structure of directing and protecting the kundalini creative life force energies but also as the healer of the Divine Feminine of any residual reminiscence of patriarchal pain and trauma that can only be unlocked, healed, and nurtured back to wholeness by the Ascended Divine Masculine. An equal reciprocity of what the Divine Feminine has so far held space for the Divine Masculine. And this thus opens a whole new spiral of sacred marriage within and without and ancient soul connections and soul contracts now aligning as we slowly but surely wield the mantle of co-creators of the new earth as unified in sacred union, conscious, healed, and whole. New balance and foundations, 444, and new beginnings, rebirth, directed by the divine feminine and upheld by the divine masculine, 111-333, 7337 777 999 555 are on the menu. We can no longer function the way we always have as that timeline has dissolved with the Equinox Gateway. Choice and intention are the key, upheld by love, devotion, integrity, authenticity, naked, vulnerability, and compassion. The divine plan is unfolding. And light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. Sake na from isischannelings.wordpress.com And from divine sister of the light Judith Kusel. There is such beautiful and powerful liquid fire light now pouring in, ushering in new, vibrant life force. This liquid fire light is filled with very high vibrational sound frequencies and vibrations, which are out of our physical hearing range, but our energetic bodies are tuning in as our new crystalline bodies are being tuned into a much higher dimensional frequency band. I am finding this so uplifting and felt it intensely in nature today. All was buzzing and was framed with light. 
We are in for huge changes as never before. Upwards and onwards we go into the new creation. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Karen Lithica, Cosmic Communication, the Arcturians. Feel us like a presence in your mind, the opening of a cosmic light connection. Harmoniously we join in light, simply open your light heart, the cosmic light path, to reach a higher light dimension, the true path. As the days continue, as your world transponds the greater light awareness, simply find us to reach a greater space of cosmic light infinity. In every step we vibrationally observe and feel the ebbs and flows of your world, for it is just a dream amongst many dreams. When you awaken you will see the grand picture, universal light and harmony. Like a wave of light the Arcturians came through, a high vibrational light spectrum. They entered my mind to transverse light, discuss and download. As the light journey continues, sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn, 144 God Code, the energies of April are all about rebirth. We'll be going through a stargate from the 4-4 portal to the Libra full moon, April 4th, 5th, and 6th. The stargate will create a barrier from the past, continuing forward with us. We are accelerating ahead, and the past is staying behind. The solar flares and solar eclipse will be activating more light body upgrades. This light will clear your contracts with the family tree you chose to incarnate into. The starseed mission to heal those genetics for Genesis is now complete with success. The Most High is gathering his children to enter into the new time-space continuum of the Beloveds. This is where we meet our matches and unite under the Most High, known as Cellular Way. The Earth is also completing her upgrades from Old Earth to New Planetary Earth. Our role and mission to help her ascension move forward is completing. We have evolved with the Earth's ascension into 5D and are now able to ground into her New Earth and become one with her. This will bring us balance, stability, and harvest so we can prosper and thrive in new earth and the new time-space continuum of the beloveds. Have a very blessed April, dear family. Love, Carolyn, from 144godcode.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Linda Johnson, 4123. Today we enter a new month of April, the four vibrational frequency. Four is grounding, foundations, anchors, roots. How fitting as we just cross the equinox into spring. We spend time in the winter thinking of, planning for the season and it's here. What kind of soil, almost rote soul, are we seeding? We are still in this Aries wormhole of conscious creation, so now we as gardeners are the sowers into our foundations. How exciting as we exercise responses or reactions as the seeds of new growth. Today a communion or new cycle with Varuna, all seeing eye of God, higher vision, and elevated perspective in Leo, courage, shining, open-heartedness, gratitude, with the black moon Lilith in Leo, reclaiming, restoring, accessing our hidden parts and bringing them to the light to transmute and alchemize their dormant or not quite ready to see the beauty within as the gift. Allow yourself to have a new view of you. And Venus, heart, love, beauty, and Taurus, where it is most comfortable. Pallas Athena, divine feminine wisdom and cancer, emotional empowerment, mother energy, resource, helpful placement, wisdom for up-leveling inner child healing, self-compassion, ancient guidance to self is available. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Venus and Taurus, semi-square Mars and Cancer, and sextile Pallas and Cancer. Mercury and Aries, semi-sextile Neptune and Pisces. Right now we're steeped in the need for security, emotional, physical, financial. 
but maybe there are issues at home, conflicts, even just the battle-weary world we live in that makes us prickle with unease. Deep down we know there are things we could do to mitigate this. Small actions guided by gut instincts. But still, sometimes it feels like no matter what we do, we attract the opposite to what we want. Pallas pricks up her ears and offers a warm hug. You can change this pattern, she says kindly. There it is, when we're quiet, when we turn our attention inward, a subtle voice, peace is possible. The dreams of the gods are woven into the fabric of space and time. Reality can feel like an auto-stereogram image, a random jumble of meaningless dots without pattern or definition. But all that is needed is a shift of perception to see the truth, hidden in plain sight. Look with your heart. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 58, White Rhythmic Mirror. The number six is called rhythmic and its keywords are organized, equality, and balance. The sixth day is very practical, as it's all about sorting yourself out and clearing out the clutter. Whether that's actual clutter or simply mental clutter, it's time to rebalance yourself. Each day of a wave spell has its purpose, and if you follow each step accordingly, the 13-day journey is more rewarding. Maximize your experience during this Red Skywalker wave spell and get into your rhythm today. Today is White Mirror, which represents reflect, order, and endlessness. The mirror asks you to take a good, long, honest look at yourself. Self-reflection is vital, as we all need regular reality checks. Some folk are afraid to face the truth, but avoiding it only results in living with a fabricated reality. If you take stock honestly, you can then proceed and decide what to do next more accurately. This can only happen when we truly know where we stand. As today is a rhythmic day, clearly the truth manifests rebalancing. It is a great combination of day and number, and it is not hard to understand its message. The guide today is also a white mirror, and so a double helping of reflecting the truth. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. White Rhythmic Mirror, 6 8 Knob, Keen 58, 1st of April 2023, Reflecting Order. 1 4 2023 equal 1 4 7 equal 1 11 equal 1 1 1 equal 1 2 equal 3. 1 1 1 New Beginnings, Divine Leadership Portal. Day Codes, 1 New Beginnings, Leader Original. 3. Holy Trinity, Creativity, Joy, Happiness, Month, Year Codes. 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. 11. Portal, Gate, Polarity, Illumination. 2. Twins, Duality, Partners, Alliances, Cooperation. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 23. Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, and Support. Keen 58 equal 13 equal 4. Form, Structure, Foundation, 4-4 Code, with the new month of April. Another power-packed galactic activation portal day. The energies are amplified and the focus is on reflection and waking up to the illusion that has kept us trapped. Huge focus on twins, partnerships, and reflected relationships. Welcome to April. April is the fourth Gregorian month of the year. This number four is the frequency of the builder of form. The four represents the earth and the earth element. It is the solid foundation we construct in order to build the new earth. A very prevalent code this year, particularly as we are in a four Muluk year, defining the form of our new reality. The four month code added to 2023 equals seven year code totals 11. Thus April is a universal month code of 11 two. More tests and mastery in the seven spiritually testing year. The eleven will open more portals and dimensions this month, particularly as the double mirror opens the doors today. Be careful of illusions and stay on track to reap the benefits of this magical month that takes us through the holy week of Easter. Day six in the Red Skywalker wave spell of awakening, exploration, and new adventures. Today we balance our awakening and exploration by putting all into order in our physical reality. 
we will be organizing the space in which we live, work, and play. Tone of creation, rhythmic tone six in the physical realm. Action balances, power organizes, essence equality. The rhythmic phase is the one where this all adventuring and radiating miracle that is you learns to walk, but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts, and what superb balance we see. Very soon you have mastered walking and are up and running. Go forth and explore your territory. A great day for space clearing, energy balancing, and using feng shui to organize our living spaces into balanced and harmonious sanctuaries to nurture and comfort us. Inner balance is also featured through yoga, meditation, and physical exercise, walking, dancing, and stretching. Our inner and outer spaces need to reflect the truth of who we are now as souls. Be willing to appreciate or prune where necessary. Call on wisdom and love to facilitate this pruning process. Open more fully to harmony in all aspects of your life. This harmony of self and one's life becomes the foundation of freedom. Achieving inner peace and calm is then reflected outwardly in our external environment and all that we create. Our manifestations are the outward reflections of our frequency. By raising our vibe and reflecting our light, we automatically illuminate our world. It is time for peace to reign supreme in our lives and our world. Love, harmony, and abundance are all our natural birthright, and so it is. Today's question is what distorted reflections are arising in order to restore balance and harmony in my life and our world. Divine blessings for laying the foundation for our new sanctuary. May we restore peace, order, and balance to our beloved planet. May peace prevail on earth. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 58, White Rhythmic Mirror. The mantra, the code for today is, I organize in order to reflect. Balancing order, I seal the matrix of endlessness. With the rhythmic tone of equality, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations that we can continue this work. If you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. And if you're on our tribe on Patreon, if you could please do us a very big favor and log into your account today on being the first of the month, many transactions didn't go through. There's either a glitch in the matrix or Patreon's payment processors so if you could please do us a favor and log in and see if your monthly pledge went through today we'd appreciate that very much and continue helping us to be able to do these daily transmissions for some reason many transactions failed so we appreciate you and your continued support and if you'd like to support us with a one-time donation and help us continue Doing this work and helping us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a one-time donation to the links at egolovecondor.com. And I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, Zodiac Goddesses Healing Jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to transmit a very powerful invocation from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Emily Kate. Invocation of the Yellow Flame I invite the assistance of Archangel Yophael and Archangel Christine and Lord Lanto 
to assist with bringing the divine yellow flame over life, being, and home. I ask for the flames of wisdom, creativity, constancy, illumination, and happiness to spread over the soul and the physical body. I am the yellow flame of divinity. I am happy. I am creative. I am constant. I am wise. May the archangels and ascended masters of the yellow flame be with us today and bring us the qualities that are alive in this source. Blessings, Emily Kate, Ashnia, Allah. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most blessed, sacred, and holy month of April as we continue through the Ascension Vortex. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.